I know you will instantly recognize this as being lung. You can see some or many alveoli, some of which perhaps are a little overinflated, little emphysema here. You can see some blood vessels. Even at this power, you could probably see some anthracotic stippling or pigmentation in some of the macrophages of the lung. But what else do we really have here? What we have here is a very well-defined area comprising about the upper half of the field uh, in which it doesn't look like normal lung at all. It, in many respects, might resemble lung in that it looks like there may be some residua of uh, septae present, but uh, the alveoli are not air-filled. They have some proteinaceous material, perhaps, maybe some secreted material. Uh, this is a classic appearance of a bronchioalveolar adenocarcinoma of the lung. The reason why this type of uh, tumor is so interesting is even though it is an adenocarcinoma of the lung, non-oat cell cancer, it has one of the most favorable prognoses. It is very, very slow growing. Very often people will die of something else many years later, and you will see this at autopsy as an incidental finding. Let's zoom in a little bit more on the septa and try to figure out why this is the best prognosis uh, adenocarcinoma of the lung. Well, the first reason is that if you look at the glandular cells lining these spaces, they don't look terribly nasty. Sure, you could see some prominence nucleoli. Sure, some of them are a little bit darker uh, and more irregular. Uh, but they don't have generally the worst histology. Here's another little strip of uh, malignant epithelium overlying a fibrous. Probably the main reason why this is good is that it's almost like the uh, interstitium or the septae are preserved and the cells have just overgrown. In other words, even though this is a malignancy and malignancies grow haphazardly, it's almost like you can still see some preservation of the lung architecture. Um, this is absolutely classic for a bronchioalveolar. Sometimes you'll see little nests out here separate from the main area in which you see uh, alveoli filled up with similar type cells that are fairly well differentiated and very slow growing and therefore a um, non-aggressive or relatively non-aggressive biologic behavior for a malignancy and therefore a good prognosis and therefore a long survival and therefore thank you very much.